can see we are obviously much quieter today, but the forecast is not perfect because we're still holding on to the risk of some rain. And that is the last thing that people want to contend with who have unfortunately the roof taken off their home. But that is the case. We are going to be dealing with some rounds of rain as we head throughout the day today. And with some of that rain, don't be surprised to have some gusty winds. We're not talking about severe weather, but even a little bit of hail could be involved in some of these showers and perhaps thunderstorms that we see today. We're going to hold those chances anywhere from about 20 to 30 percent. You'll notice the temperatures. We stay pretty cool as we make our way throughout the day today, much cooler than yesterday when we had temperatures in the upper 70s. It's also going to be windy out there with winds gusting to about 30 miles per hour. We're watching for some of those showers and storms. It's not out of the question tonight into tomorrow that we're going to be on the lookout for the potential of our area picking up a little bit of snow shower activity. I don't think it's going to add up to anything, but just a few flurries out there. I just don't want you to be surprised if you see some of those snow showers out there. What we're seeing right now, continuing to watch for some rain moving across areas of Orange County, back into portions. You'll notice of Washington County and into Jackson County, some pockets of some heavier shower activity moving across sections of uh, Grayson County as well. And you'll notice the cellular nature of some of these showers here. So when we're not seeing the rain, you'll most likely see some blue sky, but we also have a kind of unstable atmosphere. So every once in a while, you might even see some hail associated with some of those showers and storms moving through and you can see there is some snow across areas farther off to the north so we're going to be watching for that colder air and even the potential of a few snow showers overspreading the region as we make our way into your afternoon hours we'll continue to see those spotty showers even a few rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out but again we're not anticipating severe weather as we continue to take you into tonight we'll continue to watch for the threat of some locally heavy downpours and again some gusty winds associated with some of those showers over spreading the region that is pulling in that colder air and yes you can see what happens we begin to see some snowflakes trying to mix in as we head into tonight and for the first part of the day tomorrow it's going to be windy out there for today and it's going to be windy for tomorrow as we take a look at our current conditions we're at 49 degrees right now winds are from the west southwest at about 18 miles per hour and you can see that colder air continuing to filter in Look at this, 42 degrees in Paoli, 44 degrees in Seymour, and that colder air will continue to overspread the region. So we're talking about for today, temperatures most likely feeling even colder than the actual air temperature. In fact, in southern Indiana, feels like we're in the 30s. Temperatures will make it to about 51 degrees. We're talking about uh, temperatures over the next couple of days that will be certainly on the cool side. Upper 40s on Thursday and Friday, heading into Saturday, 58 degrees and dry. Now on Sunday, for the second half of the weekend, we're going to be watching for the risk of some rain. That is going to be followed by the risk of some rain, it looks like, during the first part of the day on Monday. And obviously all eyes on Monday's forecast for the eclipse right now. It looks like we should hopefully see some clearing and then temperatures in the 60s on Tuesday.